Battle of the Brains, presented by Invest 529, Central Virginia's high school academic quiz show. Today's match features Monacan High School versus Louisa High School. Let's play. Hello and welcome to Battle of the Brains, Central Virginia's longest running high school academic quiz show. I'm Cheryl Miller. Our teams are playing for a combined scholarship total of $20,000 courtesy of Invest 529 and the EW Scripps Foundation. The final four teams will each get a share, the winning school receiving $10,000 at the end of the season. Our competition welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth. The academic athletes joining us today are the Chiefs of Monacan High School, coached by Cameron Fisk and Sean Hollingshead. Monacan High School is a public school in Chesterfield County, a suburb of Richmond. The school has an enrollment of nearly 1,600 students. It houses the Center for Humanities, which includes a rigorous curriculum and students involved in earn advanced studies diplomas. Also with us today, the Lions of Louisa County High School, coached by Tom Jordan. Located in Louisa County, this secondary public school enrolls students in grades 9 through 12. The school offers AP classes along with dual enrollment courses with both Reynolds Community College and Piedmont Virginia Community College. A big welcome to all the students today. Great to have them here with us. Our match consists of three toss-up rounds and a category round. Players wishing to answer will buzz in and wait for me to call on them. Any interruption of questions with an incorrect answer will result in a point deduction, but there's no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, teens, again, welcome. Let's have fun. Let's go with the first toss-up round. It comes from the Norwegian word for young fry of fish. Name this food source for baleen whales that contains at least 85 species of planktonic crustaceans. Krill? That is correct. William Henry Harrison served the shortest time as President of the United States, 31 days. What 19th century president served the second shortest time, 199 days? Sam. Herbert Hoover. That is incorrect. Louisa? <clears throat> Seamus? Zachary Taylor. It was actually James Garfield who was assassinated in 1881. This name is derived from a longer term for native New Yorkers, first coined by Washington Irving, and which was originally designed to apply to only Dutch New Yorkers. What is this term which has come to be associated with a popular NBA team? Sam. The Knicks. That is correct, short for Knickerbocker. Tuolumne Meadows is the northern part of this park where the Valley of the Merced River features Ribbon Falls, Bridevale Falls, and Half Dome, named this California National Park. Sam. Yosemite. Correct. In the poem, A Few Figs from Thistles, Edna St. Vincent Millay wrote that what burns at both ends, it will not last the night. Sam. Candle. Correct. What Marvel superhero's secret identity is Clint Barton? Megan. Hawkeye. Correct. What was the name of the European trading company which from early in the 17th century through much of the early 19th century directed the government and administration of India? Megan. The Dutch East India Company. That is incorrect. Monacan. The Mason. British East India Company. That is correct. Found in book three of Virgil's Georgics, what is the common English translation of the phrase Tempest Fugit? Time flies. Sandra, that is correct. And everybody wait for me to call on you before you give your answer. Technically, one of these can be considered a subset of ordered pairs from a cross B, such that if A comma B and A comma C are both in the set, then B must equal C. Name this kind of mathematical entity that maps values from A, its domain, to B, its range. Sam. Oh, Samir, Function. I'm sorry. Function. That is correct. What river is controlled by the Grand Coulee Dam in Washington State? Sam. The Colorado River. That is incorrect. Louisa? and that would be the Columbia River. Robert of Geneva, later Clement VII, relocated from Geneva to this city in 1378, named this French city home to the papacy during the Babylonian captivity. Seamus. Avignon. Correct. Intended to be and almost equal to 10 millionth the distance from the equator to the pole, it is 39.37 inches. What is this fundamental unit of length in the metric system? Seamus. Meter. Correct. 
They are the largest passerine or perching bird in North America, and legend has it if they leave the Tower of London, the British Empire will fall. Name this animal the mascot of a National Football League franchise. <coughs> Megan. The Ravens. Correct. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. What do the opposite sides or faces of a dice add up to? <coughs> Samir. Seven. Seven is correct. All right, teams, watch and listen carefully. Turn your attention to the monitors for a video question from the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch, and you must wait until the question is asked completely before buzzing in. The Arc de Triomphe is a backdrop to the Paris Summer Olympics. Spell Arc de Triomphe. Sam. A R C D E T R. Keep going. I O M. P H E. That is correct. And sorry for the interruption. And that buzzer is the end of our first toss up round. A good job by our team so far, but a lot more questions yet to come. Up next, we'll introduce you to today's players, and then they'll take on the category round when Battle of the Brains continues. Miss a week of Battle of the Brains? Want to catch up on the full season of play? Watch full episodes on our YouTube channel. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. You'll notice we've had a score adjustment due to the judges throwing out one of the questions in the first toss-up round. We have Monica High School with 60 points, Louisa High School with 60 points. And we'll get back to our match just ahead, but first let's get to know a little bit about today's players. First, let's meet our team from Monica High School. They are the Chiefs. Their coaches are Cameron Fisk and Sean Hollingshead. First up on the team is Mason Lambert. Mason is a senior who enjoys reading, music, and geography plans to major in chemistry. Next up is Alexandra McGinty, who is a senior, enjoys volleyball, reading, and history, plans to major in pre-law, then go to law school. Our team captain for Monaghan High School is Sam Padilla, who is a senior, enjoys reading, history, and movies, wants to study political science or perhaps computer engineering. And wrapping up our team from Monaghan is Auden Graham, who is a senior, enjoys reading classical literature and plans to major in marketing or economics. That is our team from Monaghan High School. Great to have you here. Now let's meet our team from Louisa County High School. They are the Lions. Their coach is Tom Jordan. First up is Samir Freeman, who is a sophomore and likes science, plays piano, enjoys music, and plays ultimate frisbee. Our team captain is Jacob Ryder, who is a senior who plays piano, enjoys bird watching, and is a commissioned artist. Next up is Seamus Tanner, who is a senior, would like to achieve a master's degree in library science, enjoys hiking, and is in the birding club. And wrapping up our team is Megan Bryant, who is a junior, would like to become a nurse, is in training right now to be an EMT, and volunteers at the Rescue Squad. Thank you for your service. And that is our team from Louisa County High School, and now our teams will play the category round. Each team will select one 10-question category from today's choices. If the team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time, they'll receive a 20-point bonus. Teams, take a look. Here are today's categories from which you may choose. They are A, World Cities, also, people known by one name and scientific Fs. And in this round, we note that only the captain can officially answer for the team, though they may confer with their teammates to try to come up with correct answers. There is no deferring to another player to answer on behalf of the team. And generally, by the rules, the high score team gets first choice of category. We do have a tie. And because we had to throw out a question, Louisa will get first choice of category. So Jacob, quickly talk it over with your teammates and let me know what category you'd like to play. Fs, please. All right. Name these following Fs in science. The first is the ion with chemical symbol F minus. Pass. That would be fluoride. An adjective describing a substance that burns in air. Flammable. Correct. Whip-like appendages used by cells for locomotion. Flagellum. Correct. The opposite of fission. Fusion. Correct. The longest bone in the human body. Femur. Correct. An influence on an object that causes an acceleration. Force. Correct. A number that divides evenly into a larger number. Factor. Correct. Body surfaces used by fish to produce thrust. 
seconds. Correct. Number of oscillations per unit time. Frequency. Correct. And finally, point of balance in a system or the pivot on a lever. Okay. And that is correct. Good job on that category by our team from Louisa County High School. All right, Monica, in A World Cities or people known by one name. Sam, talk it over with your team. Do you know A World Cities? I don't know any A World Cities. Probably. I don't know. Because people like one name better. I can do it. Um, people known by one name. All right. Give the one name by which each of these following people are best known. The first is American pop singer known as the Material Girl. Madonna. Madonna. Correct. Greek philosopher who outlined the rules of tragedy in the poetics. Is it? No. Hippocrates? That would be Aristotle. Mm. Okay. Italian scientist who recanted the Copernican theory during the Inquisition. Galileo. Correct. Dwayne Johnson's wrestling ring name. The Rock. Correct. Roman emperor who converted to Christianity after seeing a flaming cross in the sky. Is it Diocletian? Hmm? Diocletian? Diocletian? That would be Constantine. Italian artist who painted the school of Athens. Uh, Raphael. Correct. Rolling in the Deep singer. Adele. Adele. Correct. Mexican leader conquered by Cortez. Uh, Montezuma. Correct. French author whose works include Candide. Montesquieu. Voltaire. Mm. And finally, he was called the king of rock and roll. Elvis. And that is Elvis. That is correct. Good job on your category as well by Monacan High School. And up next, we'll have another toss-up round when we continue here on Battle of the Brains. Battle of the Brains is always available. Find full episodes on YouTube and follow Battle of the Brains on social media. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Monacan High School with 95 points. Our team from Louisa High School with 105 points. And now it's back to Battle of the Brains and another toss-up round. And a quick reminder to our teams, you do lose points if you interrupt a question with an incorrect answer. The other team then has the chance to answer. And remember, there is no conferring in the toss-up rounds. Here we go. In Greek mythology, Andromeda was to be sacrificed to the sea monster Cretus, but was ultimately saved by what legendary... Megan. Perseus. That is correct, founder of Mycenae. What common household chemical has the composition H2O2? Mm. Sam. Hydrogen peroxide. Correct. Name the politician who ran for the presidency as the third party bull moose nominee. Mm. Seamus. Theodore Roosevelt. That is correct. In the election of 1912 as he sought a third term. In most orchestras, it is divided into first and second sections, often totaling 30 or more players. Name this most common instrument in a standard orchestra, the highest pitched string instrument. Sam. Violin. Correct. Nano, shuffle, classic, and touch were varieties of what? Auden. The iPod. Correct. Now obsolete. What stage of mitosis comes between metaphase and telophase? Sam. Anaphase. Correct. Name both the first African-American woman and the only African-American male to win singles tennis titles at Wimbledon. Mason. Arthur Ashe and Serena Williams? That is incorrect. Louisa? Arthur Ashe is correct. 1975, but you have to go back farther. 1957, Althea Gibson was the female winner. All right, teams, watch and listen carefully. Turn your attention to the monitors for a video question from the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch, and you must wait until the question is asked completely before buzzing in. The Boston Red Sox finally lifted the curse of the Bambino, winning the World Series in 2004. What team has the current longest streak of not winning a World Series title? Sam. Uh, the Chicago Cubs. That is incorrect, Louisa. Megan? The Reds? It's actually the Cleveland Indians. Their streak lasted 75 years. It was a movement along with what, along what tectonic fault that caused the San Francisco earthquake mm. of 1906? Mason. The San Andreas Fault? Correct. What direction do experts say you should swim if caught up in a rip current? Mm. Jacob? Uh, parallel to the beach? That is correct, parallel to shore. There are eight electrons in the outermost shell of each noble gas except for which one that has only two? 
Mason. Helium. Correct. Karnataka, Maharashtra, and Punjab are states in which country? Mason. India. Correct. Colin Powell and Condoleezza Rice were the first African-American male and female to serve as U.S. Secretary of State. Which president appointed them? Mason. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. That is incorrect. Louisa? And that would be George W. Bush, Powell from 2001 to 2005, and Rice from 2005 to 2009. During the Persian Wars, 300 Spartans engaged the Persians in a battle at the Pass of Thermopylae. The Spartans and their king fought until they were massacred, delaying the invasion and allowing the Greeks to organize. Who was the Spartan king? <coughs> Sam. Leonidas. Correct. His self-sacrifice became legendary. In 1845, the Congress of the United States decided that all national elections would be held on what specific day, not date, specific day? <coughs> Megan. Tuesday? I need you to be more specific. First Tuesday of November? That is incorrect. Monikin? <coughs> Auden? The second Tuesday of November? It's even more specific than that. It's the Tuesday after the first Monday in November. Which National Football League's team stadium features an area called the Dog Pound? <coughs> Sam. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we'll go to Louisa. That would be the Cleveland Browns. <coughs> And that buzzer means one more toss-up round ahead and we'll double the point value. Stay tuned to see which of our teams is today's winner here on Battle of the Brains. Love Battle of the Brains? Ready for your high school team to play next season? Go to battleofthebrains.net to learn more. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores as we head now into the final round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Monacan High School, 175 points. Our team from Louisa High School, 135 points. And now in this final toss-up round, the point score for a correct answer is doubled. But so is the penalty for an incorrect answer given before I finish the question. There's no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. Good luck, teams. This is our final toss-up round. British author Anna Sewell's only published work is a tale of a gentle hybrid horse and his life under cruel masters. What novel was written? Auden. Black Beauty. That is correct. It was written to induce kindness, sympathy, and an understanding of the treatment of horses. In golf, a player completes a par four hole in six strokes. What is the term given to this score? <coughs> Sam. Double bogey. Correct. The revealed laws of Judaism are embodied in the religious writings known among the Jews by what name? <coughs> Sam. The Torah. Correct. Name the train that brings Harry Potter and his pals to school in the <coughs> Harry Potter series. Megan. The Hogwarts Express. Correct. Departing every September 1st at 11 a.m. This marks the spot. What is the second letter on the third alphabet line on a standard QWERTY keyboard? <coughs> Sam. X. That's correct. X marks the spot. In what state is the United States Naval Academy located? <coughs> Megan. Maryland. Correct. In Annapolis. You may need your pencil and paper for this. If a diver performs a 1260, how many rotations did they do? <coughs> Mason. Four. That is incorrect. Louisa. <coughs> Megan. Five. It's actually three and a half. What is the salty lake that is bounded by Azerbaijan, Russia, and Iran? Mason. The Caspian Sea? Correct. Name the poet of the Harlem Renaissance who wrote Montage of a Dream Deferred. <coughs> Sam. Langston Hughes? Correct. One southern newspaper described this event as a crime equal to treason. In 1901, President Theodore Roosevelt created this controversy by dining in the White House with what educator who was a former slave? <coughs> Same, Seamus. Booker T. Washington. Correct. You may need your pencil and paper. On the Richter scale, earthquake A is a point above earthquake B. That means that earthquake A is 10 times as powerful as earthquake B. If the two earthquakes differ by half a point, how much more powerful is earthquake A than earthquake B? <coughs> Megan. 
Five. That is incorrect. Monikin? Sam? Two. It's the square root of 10 or about 3.2. What is the term for the type of moon nearest to the start of the autumnal equinox? Auden. The harvest moon? Correct. Mm -hmm. The Biltmore Estate, once inhabited by the Vanderbilt family, is located in what city in North Carolina? Auden. Asheville. Correct. Pinto, Maverick, Crown Victoria, and Fusion are all models of automobiles made by which company? Mason. Ford. That is correct. At the Battle of the Little Bighorn River in 1876, led by George Armstrong Custer, units of what famous cavalry regiment were overwhelmed? Seamus. The seventh. That is correct. The character Mario was first introduced in 1981 in what video game that featured a barrel-tossing monkey? Jacob. Donkey Kong. Correct. The highest mountain in the world is Mount Everest in Nepal and Tibet, and the highest point in North America is Mount Denali in Alaska. What is the highest point in the 48 contiguous U.S.? Auden. Mount Rainier. That is incorrect. Louisa? Seamus? Mike's Peak. It's actually Mount Whitney. The United States National Radio Quiet Zone comprises approximately 13,000 square miles in which two states where you'll find the Snowshoe and Massanutten Ski Resorts? Auden. West Virginia. And? Virginia. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> and that buzzer means the end of our match. While our judges double check the final score, here's a reminder of how to stay connected with us here on Battle of the Brains. Stay up to date on Battle of the Brains. Follow along as your favorite teams advance this season. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more and follow the show on social at Battle of the Brains. Join us next week on Battle of the Brains as we welcome students from Maggie Walker Governor's School playing against L.C. Bird High School. And now here's the final score for today's match, determining which of our teams will continue on in this season's competition. Ending the match with a score of 235 points, our team from Louisa High School. Good job today by Megan, Seamus, Jacob, and Samir. Good to have you here. Best of luck with the rest of the school year. Our winners today with a final score of 375 points, our team from Monaghan High School, the Chiefs, Mason, Alexandra, Sam, and Auden. Congratulations, and we will see you in the next round. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thank you so much for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains, and we'll see you back here next week. Great match, teams. Game over. Thank you for watching Battle of the Brains. Presented by Invest 529. Goodbye.